guys. So I was shopping online at Michael's and I found this. I am in love with it. I think it's absolutely adorable and perfect for Easter. So today we're going to try and remake it. If you want to see how it turns out, follow along. Here we go. Hey guys and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and a little bit of organization, but all on a budget. Don't forget, I try and link everything I use in the description box and if I can't link exactly what I use, I'll link something as close as I can get. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, check out some of my previous videos, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, hey guys, see. so as you can see here, I painted three eggs, and I'll have the colors linked in the description box below, but I have like a lime green, and then a lime green mixed with yellow, and yellow. What I'm going to do next is paint half of it with Mod Podge, and then I'm going to sprinkle the coordinating glitter on top. After the Mod Podge and glitter is dried, then I'm going to go ahead and paint over the glitter just to seal it in and let that dry and do the same thing to the other side. So we are going to have glittery eggs for Easter! The jar I'm using is from an old candle. I removed the wax and I'll link that video on how to remove wax easily here. But I just covered it with white in the Waverly chalk paint and then I stippled some of the gray Waverly chalk paint called Silver Lining on. Next I'm going to take some floral foam and I'm just going to kind of measure where I want it and cut it off there. I'm going to press on the corners just a little bit so that they're a little softer and rounded. That way we can fit it in easier. Alright. I'm going to put some hot glue on the very bottom and then I'm going to shove it back in. Now we're going to put some floral moss on there and again I'm using the bright green one instead of the reindeer moss. I like the texture of the reindeer moss better but they both make a big mess and this one looks better for spring. Just going to cover the floral foam with the floral moss, little bits of hot glue at a time. Dollar Tree does have finger protectors or you can get them on Amazon too. I'll go ahead and link some and that way while you're pressing your moss down then it doesn't hurt your fingers. All right, let me do a little cleanup. As you can see, there's quite a bit of a mess. For the next part, I took some onion grass, and it comes with these butterflies on there. They're really pretty. It's a really cool little piece that the Dollar Tree carries, but what we're gonna do is I just removed each section. So there's this big section, and then if you come up, there's the little sections. And if you pull the butterfly off, you can pull those right off. So I did that, then I trimmed this piece that holds it down, and I just put a dot of hot glue inside and I stuck it back in. Now we're going to go ahead and stick them in here. I'm trying to push down just far enough so that the moss will cover this little floral wrap that's on there. So I'm just going to kind of place the eggs in here. They kind of have them... Um, a little bit like this and I think I'm going to go ahead and end up putting oopsie a little hot glue on the ends so they can help hold each other in in the spot that they need to be okay so I didn't like how tall my grass was it looked a little bit off so I'm just going to go ahead and trim it So I want to add a little variety of the sizing because I don't like it all cut off so I'm just going to come in here with some more from a second or a third pick I guess and add in that variety. As you can see here I glued the eggs together and we're just going to go ahead and lower it down. I want it to go into these just a little bit. There we go. Check it out. There's a look at the final project. I'm really liking it. I think it's super cute. I think it's a great Easter idea, and especially if you have kids. Again, I'll go ahead and show you Michael's. Well, online at Michael's. And it was originally $40.69. It's on sale for $26.09. And we made ours for six dollars seven dollars so you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below let me know if you think this is a cute little idea and if you think your kids would love it 
All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for crafting with me, and I can't wait to do another craft next week. But until then, bye-bye.